Hey, welcome back to Hugs and Honey. Good to see you today. Happy Friday. Hip hip hooray. I love Fridays. Do you guys love Fridays? Um, I'm sure you do. <laughs> um, anyways, I just wanted to pop in today. Um, I just got off a phone call. I'm wearing my 10X hat. Um, just got off of a licensee uh, phone call for uh, the Grant Cardone licensee that I have as part of my business. And, um, and this morning we were talking about this really interesting concept that I wanted to share with you because I thought it was such a good way to think. Um, so the concept is to set a goal to be terrible, <laughs> to be awful at something, to um, something that scares you, something that you want to do, um, and something that you're working on trying to do. You don't have to worry about being perfect or um, you know waiting until you know all of the information um, or you know having it down perfectly. Set a goal to be terrible. So, for example, this is a um, something that we're doing that uh, they're encouraging us to do to kind of get out of our comfort zone. So something like um, public speaking, for example, is uh, an example of that, like set a goal to be terrible. Why would you want to set a goal to be terrible? Like who does that? Why would you ever want to do that? Why would you want to set yourself up for failure? And the whole idea of doing that um, is to take the fear out of it because that's the worst thing, right? The worst thing would be to fail or to be terrible, okay? So if that's your goal, at least you have a goal. At least you are doing something and moving towards uh, your dreams and goals. Public speaking is something that is very hard for a lot of people and they don't want to do it because they feel like they're going to be terrible. Well, so what? If that's the worst that happens, then, you know, then all you have to do is go up from there. So, um, so set a goal to be terrible because at least you are moving, at least you are taking action, at least you are doing something. And that goal is probably achievable. <laughs> Um, I just recently, I talked about it, I just recently did a public speaking event where I felt like I was terrible, like really terrible. And, um, and so now I know it probably will not be that bad again at any point. It will probably just go up from there because I learned from what I did and how to prepare differently next time. Um, so it's okay to be terrible. You know, at least you are doing it. At least you are moving towards it and taking little steps and you have goals. And like I said, you can achieve the goal of being terrible. <laughs> um, and then you just get better from there. <laughs> so it's kind of a fun way to play with yourself um, and challenge yourself and, uh, you know, meet goals that are achievable and then set new ones. Once you meet those goals, you set new ones um, for different levels of terrible and then next thing you know you're awesome okay so uh, just taking the fear out of doing the things that scare you so go for it set your goal to be terrible <laughs> and have fun okay guys um, make sure that your friends uh, see this video so that they can also set goals to be terrible too um, and uh, and just have fun with it just play just do it as they say I see you I hear you I'm here for you and I love you I'll see you tomorrow bye